the Yankees. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> we'll get started tomorrow night here on FS1. Let's move on to the NFL. The 4 and 1 Panthers host the 4 and 1 Eagles tonight in the battle of division leaders. Cam Newton broke out of his early season slump and has led the Panthers to two straight big road wins over the Patriots and the Lions. Cam has seven total touchdowns in the last two games, while Carson Wentz is coming off a career best four touchdown outing over the Cardinals. Janet, who wins tonight? I like the Panthers. I like the Panthers at home. Um, I also like the Panthers for the simple fact Lane Johnson isn't playing. And as I said before, Carson Wentz incompletion percentage, go, uh, completion mm -hmm. percentage goes down, his sacks goes up, his hits go up, and the points come down. That's we, we understand that. The Carolina Panthers are third in total D, they're third in sacks, so and they're a formidable bunch. Uh Keekley, uh Thomas Davis, Starla Tuile, that front seven, K1 short, they do a great job of getting pressure on the quarterback. Because they're kind of fairly young in the secondary. And uh, maybe if you get some time, because that's what happened, they weren't able to get the kind of pressure on Drew, and Drew lit them up. Now, we're about, to see, we're about to find out who's really for real. Because this might have potential implications come playoff time. You go best record, and then you go head-to-head. -head. Carolina would like for everybody to come through Carolina on their trek because they're trying to get to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So they want the Phillies, and, well, we ain't have to worry about a team that plays in Dallas. Get in the playoff. They ain't got. To, they don't have to worry about. It. You're gonna be sweating them all. Year. I ain't gonna be They're sweating coming. Jack all year. Yeah. Now we can know this guy up in uh, Lambo. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get everybody to come there in January because mm. you know what he do. Mm. People when they come up there in January. Yeah. Twenty four. Saw what he did in the regular season last. Twenty fourteen. Yeah. You know it's cold. Rob the Cowboys in the playoff game. But this is how it works for the Carolina Panthers. When that number one, that guy right there, mm -hmm. when he's playing well. And he's playing with the swag that he's shown over the last two weeks. They're almost yep. unbeatable mm. because he's doing a great job of distributing the uh, basketball, the football. Skip, last two games, 77% completion mm -hmm. percentage. He was last in the NFL last year at 53. Mm -hmm. I believe Cam was hurt. This is the Cam that I that the MVP, the 35 touchdowns passing, the 10 yep. rushing. This is the Cam that we're starting to see. Mm -hmm. He's doing a great job of spreading the ball around. Uh, Benjamin and Funches, Ed Dixon has done. He's even better than they thought he would be filling in for Greg Olson. And Christian McCaffrey, he doesn't get a whole bunch of carries. He only nope. carried the ball three times, but he's their leading receiver. He's doing what I expected him to do. I think the thing, a, a lot of people are probably out on him. He's not the feature back like Hunt. He's not the feature back like Burnett. So he's not getting the touches, so he's kind of forgotten. But I think he's doing exactly what they thought he would do. Give him, find different ways to get him the ball, punt return, throw him a couple of shovel passes out of the backfield because he's their leading receiver. Mm. But when Cam is playing like he's playing over the last two weeks, now do I expect him to complete 77% of his passes for the rest of the year? No. Do I expect him to throw for 336 yards what he's averaged over the last two weeks? No. But when he's playing with that swag, they're a tough team to beat, mm -hmm. especially in Carolina. So, for me, the key question tonight concerning the Eagles at the Panthers is – how good are the Saints? That's the key question overriding this game tonight because you told me early in the year you thought the Saints were going to have an historically bad defense, and I disagreed every time you said it. And then the New Orleans Saints went into Carolina and just did a number on Cam Newton. Mm -hmm. They picked him off three times. He threw for a grand total of 167 yards. He had a QBR of seven. That's on a scale of zero to 100. And then when you least expected it, he went up and did a number on Tom Brady, and then he went to Detroit and did a number on Matt Stafford. Mm -hmm. So how do you compute that? Because his QBR is at New England with 87 and at Detroit, 88. Okay. MVP caliber performance. Yes. Just like 2015, yeah. right? Deadly accurate, no interceptions. What's going on? I think New Orleans is going on. I think they're way better than you think they are, and I, I'm hoping they're way better because yeah. it would indicate <laughs> that – that Carolina is that good because New Orleans is that good. Right. And that that division is going to be a dogfight to the bitter end, that, that NFC South division. Wow. Yeah. I mean, because everybody's got a chance in there because Atlanta's not quite what they used to be to me, right? It's going to be interesting to see how, how Julio, because he left the game before yep. the bye with the hip injury. They're supposed to be getting Vic Beasley back. But what, what scares me about the Falcons now, Skip, is that Matt Ryan is starting to turn the ball over he is. at an alarming rate. It's called Super Bowl hangover. You never quite get over Angle what hangover. happened, 28 to 3, right? He don't turn up like me, so mm. he ain't hungover. Okay, he does not turn up. I will give you that. <laughs>
So back to what's happening tonight. I'm with you. No Lane Johnson means two interceptions for Carson Wentz because he'll try to do too You're much. Hoping. You're hoping. I, I, I agree with you. I'm about to get to that. But I believe he'll throw two picks because he'll try just about anything. And sometimes when the lights are brightest, Cam plays at the highest level. Yeah. And Carson Wentz last year when the lights were brightest got a little blinded. He got a little deer in the headlights. And I think we're going to see some deer in the headlights with two picks. And I think Cam will not turn the ball over tonight and will play at the same level with which he won at Brady and at Stafford. And I got it 23 to 17, fairly low scoring, because Carolina's defense, especially the pass rush with no Lane Johnson, yes. it's pretty good. Yeah, sure. And have you been to LA? Remember that guy named Julius Peppers? Yeah, Pep. He, he's become the Tom Brady of pass rushers, I right? Guess, I, at, at age 37, he's, he's playing some of his best football. I guess you can go home. Aha. Uh -huh. Because, I mean, I mean, he's he's for. I mean, to see this man to as big as he is, like six, seven and a half, two eighty five, and the way he can move is unbelievable. Skip, you remember that uh, uh that game show to tell the truth? Do I? My name is Cam Newton. They had three contestants. My name is Cam Newton. My name is Cam Newton. They'll give you a little background. I am Cam Newton. I won the MVP of the league in twenty in twenty fifteen. Remember it's, it's on TV so you can see their faces. Yeah. So we would know who Cam Newton right, was, but I'm right? saying <laughs> I'm saying will the real Cam Newton okay. stand, will you stand up? up? Yes. That's I I think he stood up at Foxborough and I think he stood up yes. in Detroit. He he did. But yeah. but what happened in Buffalo at home, what, nine to six? Nine what to happened? three, wasn't it? It was nine to six, I think. Yeah. But but they won. Yeah. Okay. And, and in New Orleans. But because we saw New Orleans open at night against Minnesota. And Sam Bradford threw for 386. And then Tom Brady goes in and throws for like 400 and something. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking like, hold on. You get, you get, you're giving up 400 yards passing a game, and I'm supposed to think you're going to be okay? Nobody, nobody saw this coming with the Saints doing what they did to Carolina. And then for Carolina to bounce back in the back. By the way, you knock it. But, but the Saints then went to London and did a goose egg on Jay Cutler and company. But it was 20 to nothing. And it's hard to shut somebody out. I don't care how. Not with Jay Cutler on the team. Is, Not with Jay Cutler, your quarterback. He's from Vandy. Huh? He's from Vandy. Yeah, he was the 11th pick in the draft. I'm going to need you to hook that up, though, for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Now you, you, I, yeah, you remember. I, I mean, I'm going to need you to pull some strings for me, you know. I I can pull some strings at that point. That oh. might be the one place I can okay, pull well, a string. Okay, well, hey, yeah. baby, you might be going to Vanderbilt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you better watch your tongue when you talk be, about that. I love Vandy. The okay. Commodores, I wish I could have got into right. school there. So, now back to the Philadelphia Eagles. I will admit I'm not objective about this because I do need Carolina to win, just the way I needed Kansas City to beat Philadelphia in game two this year. And as I look down the Philly schedule, I need them to lose to Washington on Monday night. That's the next game. And then a couple games down, I need them to lose to Denver at home. I, that's got to change. What, what, scale? I, I need them to lose at Seattle and at the Rams. Hold on. Later. What about the Cowboys? What, how about I you, just how, need it. How about you fulfill your obligation by winning we, instead of hoping somebody loses? not yet fulfilled our obligation we didn't show up in in denver and then we didn't show up in the second half against the rams a game that we dominated in the first half and what about and we did show up sunday but y'all scored 10 points in the second you know, half when you're playing a rookie at at the corner you're probably going to lose to aaron Rodgers. well you played a rookie at quarterback last year you'd have a problem with that and i still and don't know what my, you know i don't know what my team is doing because speaking to jerry jones like as the general manager as opposed to the president of the cowboys the owner I don't know what they're doing because they have an offense that is highly capable of getting them to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And on defense, they're just saying, eh, we don't want Cromartie. We don't want Darrell Revis. We don't want any. In fact, they, they signed two free agents, quote, unquote, you know, marquee free agents. Yeah. Nolan Carroll, cut. Yeah. Paya, cut. Those are, those are the two big names, quote, unquote, big names they signed. for. Right. So they're just saying, we're going to go young. So are you going to rebuild on defense? What, while your offense is saying, hey, you're not holding up your end of the yeah, bargain. We're, we're really? Ready. They're ready to go compete. Offensively, they, they, yeah. they have a Super Bowl caliber team. Yeah. But unfortunately, it takes all three areas. And right now, that, <sighs> that underachieving defense, you're not going to the Super Bowl with that defense like that. But, Skip, I didn't give you my score. I got 28-20 Panthers. Okay. I like that. You covered. Right? Covered the spread. No, what's the, huh? the spread is only four, right? Yeah. But you, you, you got them covering the spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> might go ahead. And, you yeah. know, you, you might get a, little get a couple it. bucks on. Nah, it. nah, you know I'm good. You know I, yeah. I don't, I don't not do. You have an week. expensive day coming up. Yeah, yeah, you don't skate. Hey, cash only. She might have saw that video. You think she saw that video, Skip? Where are you taking her? She did see the video. She said you were funny. 
Oh, you saw it? You came in the mic. That was funny. Where, where are you going? Women like a sense of humor. Guy with a sense. She was married to Eddie Murphy. <laughs> that is. Well, I mean, you're funny, but. Yeah. I, oh, I, look here. I, I he got somebody writing that. his jokes. I didn't know how to write these with me. <laughs> I, this Steve, is all Steve me. I think he jokes. wrote a bunch of his own. Yeah, I believe he did too. Yeah. Well, Next right up, Ty Lu said LeBron James is, quote, pretty pissed off after aggravating his ankle injury during Tuesday's preseason game.